We are building a budget camper. We're going to build this thing out and I'm only giving myself three, four days maximum to build this thing. And I'm literally just gonna start piecing some stuff together and see what happens. Day two and my head is already bleeding. So stupid. All right, we are building a budget camper. I have a 2011 Toyota Sienna all-wheel drive. I bought it for $9,000, 158,000 miles on it. $9,000, I understand, might not be budget to some people, but you can get these minivans for really freaking cheap, especially if you don't get the all-wheel drive versions. I had another one before this that I bought for, I don't know, I think like three or $4,000. So I'm considering this a budget build. If you're familiar with my channel, you'll know that in the past, I've had a big four-wheel drive lifted converted ambulance that I spent a ridiculous amount of time building and a lot of money building it. I also had a school bus before that that I lived in for four years. I'm downsizing and doing something smaller. This thing's a lot better on gas. I'm kind of tired of driving big giant slow vehicles it's kind of nice to have something that fits in a normal parking spot we're going to build this thing out and i'm only giving myself three four days maximum to build this thing i'm trying to keep it super simple super fast super cheap first things first i'm gonna go out to home depot pick up some just uh, random bits of wood and that way i can at least get an idea of framing things out and seeing what i want to build picked one up and got six two by threes and six like one by twos i don't really know um i just needed to get at least something so i can start framing and trying to come up with some sort of design in here but it's like i said it's gonna be very basic all right i got this three inch mattress that i got from amazon a few months ago whenever i first brought the van back i temporarily just built this little thing to give me space under there and leave that flat this side still got the seat there so i'm probably gonna leave this that way i have a seat to like edit and also that way i have like a legal seat if i have a third person that wants to come along for a little bit of a trip i'm gonna raise all this up and make a platform the whole way across that the bed can sit on so that way i have space more space under here more space under the bed the whole way up front and then over here i think i'm gonna build like a little closet desk something I'm trying to keep this thing a little bit lightweight also everything i'm building in here nothing's gonna be permanently bolted into anything. Everything is gonna be fully removable so that way it can be turned back into a normal minivan whenever I'm done. A lot of people that convert minivans, especially the Toyota Siennas, do the same thing where they'll like clamp something around this piece so you're not actually screwing into anything, you're not putting holes in everything, but bed platform. the mattress in here just to get an idea of what it's going to look like i still need to go get a piece of plywood for that i need to pick up some more wood this was just test to start building things out now i have a way better idea of what i need temporarily put this stuff in here i think this is where it's going to go i'm hoping so i got this refrigerator off of amazon for like 280 bucks pretty giant it's a little bit bigger than i need for in here and then i threw this power station in here this thing is way overkill for what i'm gonna need in here this is the anchor f2000 it is 1600 dollars right now and yes i know that's not very budget friendly for a budget build but i had that from a brand deal that i did with them a while ago i could definitely get away with a much much smaller power station that you can only get for a few hundred bucks and that would still power the fridge and everything else you need i plan on just running a cord from here up to the cigarette lighter so while i'm driving it's charging it i thought about doing solar but i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna cut that idea today in a matter of just like two hours or so uh, i got the bed designed have it raised up so i have all of this storage underneath I have a little bit of space here so that I can like actually step up into here. This thing, I think I'm gonna end up strapping it to the driver's seat so that way it stays in place. This, the fridge, I literally just wrapped bungee cords down into the tracks where the seats used to be. So that should stay in there pretty tight. The bed is, the whole bed frame is literally just loose in there. I think, I think that'll be okay. But look at all this storage space. I have all of this all the way up to the roof. 
I have all of this down under here. Then I have everything all the way up to the front. Got this little pocket down in here that it comes with. The seat is still able to fold down into the floor if I need to. I think I'm just gonna leave it up all the time. My next project right here, I'm gonna build something that goes all the way up to the roof. Find a way to mount that in place without drilling into the van. And I'm gonna try to make this clothing storage and computer storage cameras. I, I don't really know, but I definitely need something huge here and it's gonna end up blocking this entire door. So I won't be able to get in through this door. It's just gonna be access things in this big imaginary cabinet that's not here yet. And then from the inside, there will be access as well. Fridge, again, just strapped down to the floor track. And then I'm trying to leave just a little bit of space right here so that I can still sit in that chair, have like a fold down bench, and then be able to edit videos and whatnot. And I was gonna remove the front seat and just have all this extra space, but I kind of want to keep this thing somewhat stealth. I don't want it to look weird from outside. I already have window covers that I made a couple months ago that'll cover all the windows. And I still need to make a curtain to section this off. But that way, when you see it from the front, it just looks like a regular soccer mom van. And minus the bike, it's pretty much just gonna look like a travel mom van. And then I'm trying to keep this thing almost completely empty because I have seven giant boxes of stuff that I left in Oregon almost a year ago. So I'm trying to keep this thing as empty as possible so I can fill it with everything that I have in Oregon once I get there. I'm gonna take a break from building right now. I'm gonna go down to downtown Pittsburgh. There's a company that I think is going to be able to make me a new key for this because I lost both sets of keys that I had for it. Probably stop on the way back, pick up some plywood, some more wood wood, and I'm keep on keeping on. Actually worked pretty damn well. It is day two working on the minivan. I'm gonna call it day three because I spent an entire day getting all the seats out like five months ago when I first bought it. I got the garage warming up again because it's freezing out here. There's the bed that I built yesterday. Here is the plywood that's gonna be on the bed and then more plywood to help build the cabinets that I need to build. And I'm literally just gonna start piecing some stuff together and see what happens. Let's go. Day two and my head is already bleeding. I was putting a bolt, I found a hole that went through the floor and then I took the bolt out, put a longer bolt, went through that piece of wood and I needed to put a nut on the bottom and then when I came out, my head hit this. Smacked it into the corner of the, that sharp corner right there. So stupid. Everything is painted and stained. I just tossed the fridge in here and I got a bungee cord that is just going down into the old tracks from where the seats used to slide. It just clipped down into there. Same thing on the other side, just from the handle. So that's the only thing holding that in place, but it's super sturdy. Here's the power cord that's gonna run over and plug into the big power station. This cord, I gotta run up to the front. Everything's just gonna charge right from the cigarette lighter. And then if I ever really need to, if I'm at a friend's house or a gas station or I don't know anything, then I can pull the whole thing out pretty easily and use the beefy cord, plug it into the wall. But I think with the amount of driving I'm gonna be doing, I think everything's gonna be charged fully just from the cigarette lighter. Gotta throw the bed in here once the paint's like dry, dry pack a few things into here and I just need to leave as much open space in here and the rooftop box as possible because I have seven large boxes of winter gear and stuff that I couldn't fit on my way back when I drove back to the East Coast last time. So it's all still sitting in a storage unit in uh, Portland, Oregon. All right, day four is time to do an oil change on this thing before I hit the road. So that way I should be good for the whole trip. Don't have to worry about it. Just gotta start packing up my stuff, put all my window covers in, but oil change time. Alright, these 
These are all of my window covers that I made like five months ago when I first bought the van. So literally just had my mom sew this black fabric to one side. So that way it doesn't, I don't like whenever you can see this from the outside. So throw those there, should be fine for the winter and let's install all of these. everything darkened out so when I shut this it should be like pitch black in here minus that little crack up there I don't really know what to do about that but I will survive got these from Walmart for like 10 bucks little battery powered puck lights that I'm gonna put up through here I'm hoping these are bright enough that you know I don't really actually need anything serious in here Ooh, it's pretty dark let's test out these little cheap lights Not bad at all. Let me put one. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. Maybe, maybe one here. All right, cool. I'm very, very impressed by these little things, and they even change colors. They're like literally like ten or eleven bucks or something at Walmart. Batteries included. Check it out. Boom. One, two, three. Four, and then also one right here. So if I ever open this up, I don't know, I can see things here. Not bad at all, definitely worth the money. Just wondering how long the sticky pads are gonna last on bumpy roads or just normal driving. I feel like these are all just gonna start falling one by one, but I'll just buy some new adhesive tape, throw them back up, call it a day. Easy lighting. All right, I'm getting this thing loaded up. Loading the rooftop box a little bit, packing some tools and basic things, and now it's time to put the dirt bike rack on. final product everything's completely done and I'm hitting the road in about 10 minutes here is the final setup it's a little bit dark but there we go all right so we have the entire bed area and still a lot of things I need to put away the whole cabinet area the lighting the fridge is stocked power station 90 some percent we got the bike mounted on the back got a heavy chain on here as well as a cable wrapped down around the frame and everything so hopefully it will deter people from trying to steal this thing rooftop box completely full that's a lie the rooftop box is not completely full it has a lot of stuff in it but i left a lot of space open for everything else that i'm going to be picking up out in oregon got all my shelves loaded with a bunch of stuff and uh got a very light amount of tools a big box of cable that is for a future video i can't reveal what this is for but that uh, this is this is for something special hoping to encounter some snow so got myself a big brush all in all this thing did not cost too much money nine thousand dollars for the van 280 dollars for the refrigerator about 15 or 1600 dollars for the power station that's going to power everything but that was a brand deal about 200 dollars worth of wood and hardware maybe like a couple miscellaneous hundred bucks for random things uh the rooftop box i had from another minivan but that was off facebook marketplace a roll of reflectix panel for all the windows really not much uh to this entire build but my grand total i'll put it right here you can lower that substantially if you do a smaller power station and a two-wheel drive van versus an all-wheel drive van or just get a little bit older of a van so you can do one of these builds super freaking cheap but for now i need to begin the first leg of my journey so i'm going to end this video here thank you guys for watching this build and i will catch you guys for the next video which is going to be starting my drive not sure where the first destination is going to be but i'm going to salt lake city eventually after i stop at a couple places maybe and then portland and who knows after that all right let's get going